Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I am an IPC Master Instructor. Today we'll be doing a QFP 100 and we'll be doing it with a lead free solder. One of the other things that we've also got to determine is the size of our tip that we'll be working with. The tip that I have selected for this job is one of two. One is the bent conical and the other is the straight conical tip. Okay, it's whichever you would prefer. I prefer the bent conical. And the technique that we'll be showing you today on this QFP 100 is a point to point technique. I know this is a little bit slow, but for somebody that's just learning how to solder, this is a good idea. Okay, first thing that we want to do is to clean our board, making sure there's no impurities on it, and that makes it easier to solder because no contaminants on the pads means you will Next do a good job. thing we want to job. look at is placement or orientation. If you notice here there is a notch side on the board right here on the silk screen so add indicates pin 1 is right here. Next thing I want to do is to place my okay. part. I'm going to lay it right there because first thing I want to look at is to try to find my orientation. Now on this part here it's a little bit harder but if you notice on this circle right here on the lower left hand corner here there's a circle with a line through it that indicates pin 1 is right there so now let's try and align it let me just align it a little bit easier because you should try and get it the best you can onto the board okay looks like it's aligned okay the next thing I want to do is to turn on my iron let it get started getting hot I'm gonna apply a little flux on a couple of corner legs just to verify that it's held into place during the soldering process. Next thing I do is I'm going to come down and hold my part in the center without letting it move with my tweezers just like so. Gentle little pressure. Come down here and hit this leg and then come over here and hit a leg on the opposite side. Okay. Next thing I would want to do is verify that it's tacked in place by pushing on it gently, not too hard. Okay, now that it is tacked into place, we're ready to do some more solder. Notice that it is on the pads. Right here, too. It's completely on the pads. Around this side. And along this side, it is on the pads. So, good. Now we're ready to start soldering. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do one leg at a time. That's why they call us point to point. So the next thing that I want to do real quick is to completely flux up the okay, area. The next thing I want to do is I want to start soldering. Okay, now with me here, I want to go about 50% of the width of that foot. Reason being is because of the amount of solder that I'm going to use, and I want to make an outstanding looking solder joint. So lay it right here, and then what I'm going to do is hit the pad and slide all the way into the foot. Okay, come off. Come to the next one, off. All you got to do is move the solder out of the way when, as soon as you hit it. Moving it, moving it, moving it. Hit the pad, slide into the foot. Hit the pad, slide one into the One right foot. after the other. Oh, we got that last one done now, right? Okay, I'm going to put solder on the back on the end of my tip to prevent oxidization. Now that my part is thoroughly clean, the next thing I should do is inspect for quality. Look at that. I'm going to come down here to that side. It's at least one. Look at our solder fillets. If you notice, it's not here. shiny. It's kind of dull in appearance. Remember, our standards say that some solders are dull and matty and grainy in appearance. And that is fully acceptable. This has been Norman Mir with Best Incorporated. I hope you've enjoyed the soldering of a QFP 100 point to point.